Meu nome é Patrícia Araújo dos Santos. My name is Patrícia Araújo dos Santos. I was raised with the Bible knowledge of a Christian church. I was taught on doctrines and responsibilities in that church with the ones I didn't live by. I lived by appearance and for a long time I was going to that church and also in the world. I used to be with a tiny skirt showing off my body and inside of that church with a long skirt. So I lived something outside and inside of that church only changed my clothes. I used to be a head of praises. They gave me pages to praise. I gather young people. I went to praise on the front. They gave me the opportunity to pray, to give a word. Even though being in the world, I was praising was when I started preaching, I was invited to pray at that church, and I started to pray, to preach the word, and I received the gift of revelation. The people would enter the church and I would reveal the life of that person. I spoke in tongues, even being oppressed. I met my husband, and together we started to get to know to the same church that I used to go. We started to date. We got engaged, we got married, all of this very fast. Less than a year, we were married and me pregnant. Ministering praises. During the pregnancy, I separated from my husband. I was disgusted by my husband. And in that period, I was already a pastor. I was preaching and my daughter was born. The aggression was bigger because I used to hurt her. I was very violent. I lived by appearance, literally. My family did not know that I was leaving my house. And I lived by that very strong. Because inside the church, I prophesied, I preached it, I spoke in tongues, I spoke about people, about love, about marriage, about being united, about family. But I didn't leave that inside of my house. I used to go out to church and go inside my house and the hell would start. Until Sunday afternoon, was an evangelism group in my street, evangelizing, and they called me to the tent of the evangelization, and they gave me an invitation, and I said, but I'm already Christian, I already belong to the church, I know Jesus, now I'm not going to take you out of your church, just come and get to know, come to a meeting with us. And in that meeting that I went, I only remember that I entered the church. I don't remember anything else. I think I read manifested on the front of the church. And accepting a guidance of an assistant, she was guiding me that I would participate of the therapy of love and also the Fridays of deliverance. E foi um conflito com a minha pessoa, porque eu não aceitava. And was a conflict with my inner self. I couldn't accept. Pastor does not know what I live inside my house. How can he know my life? He doesn't know how it's my husband, that he's dumb, that he's low, that I'm the one that has to solve all. I saw that I was in need of something, that I was missing something. It has took me years. I got in the church 2010, it was 2015. And I had no peace inside of me. I didn't have that inner peace that you go through problems and you don't feel them. You see the problems, but that problem doesn't affect you. I didn't have that. If I went through a problem, I would fall and get sad and get desperate and get nervous. And that was wrong. And I started to get revolted. Came the fast of Daniel. And I really lived that fasting. I did exactly all. All that was told in that fasting. In July, came the campaign of Israel. And we were financing an apartment. At that time, we were going to give an amount. We were going to sell a car. And I told God, Lord, I don't have what to give. That I only thing that I have is the entrance to the apartment the entrance of my house and the living God I was on my knees and he told me daughter Por que que você vai ter uma casa se eu não tenho? why are you going to have a house if I don't have one and we were on our way back home from meeting and he told me like that and I gave a comment and I said we better enjoy because soon we're gonna walk home when he looked at me and he said 
has God asked you for the car? And I said, why? Because he asked me, but I'm afraid because it's the entrance of the apartment. And what God told me, I told him, why are we going to have a house if the Holy Spirit doesn't have one? And we sacrificed that car. One month after, I was sealed with the Holy Spirit. It was on a Wednesday at 6 p.m. It was the worst day of my life. I went through so much, so much anger in my world. I got traffic, I got nervous, and I got at the church and I said, Lord, I can't handle anymore. Just can't. I seek you, I cry out, I pray, I fast, and you don't come, Lord. I ask you, Lord, for you to come down from me or you take me away. I was in the front of the altar and I said, take me, kill me. And I said, lower your hand over me and take me. Come down with your hand and help me. And he laid his hand on me and he said, I come down in your life right now. And I come down with the Holy Spirit in your life. And I was sealed in that day. It was a night that I slept in peace. I woke up in peace. And until today, everything that I face in my life, all, all that I face, it's with peace. He brought me the domain. I had no need to shout. I had no need to cry loud. I had no need to talk loud to people. What was happening was inside. It's like you explode inside. It's an explosion inside. You want to jump, you want to scream, but you can't. Doesn't come because he's the balance. He dominates you. He teaches you how to domain yourself. He's calm, he's gentle, he's peace. In our days, my children, they felt welcome. My daughter stays with me 24 hours a day. My marriage is different. We have dialogue. We have union. We go out together to the church, to the evangelization. Doesn't matter where we go, we go together. We attach to one another. God has been giving me a lot of things. With the misery that I got, the misery that I lived, all I've been through, I can lose all that I had conquered. But if the Holy Spirit stays to me, it's already enough. Can't lose all. If I don't lose Him, if I keep that communion with Him, to me, it's already enough to be there, be able to serve Him.